the ISS still is leaking air, oxygen. The module is to be filled with confetti now, trying to find the source of this microscopic air leak. We know that it's normal for air to be leaking a little bit every day, but this is just too much. From what has been explained to us, every time a supply module, a supply capsule goes to the ISS, it does bring air components to them. But uh, what happens if this leak gets bigger or is not stopped? This small air leak registered aboard the International Space Station late last year, and by August of this year, the leak became significantly larger. It prompted the station's crew to isolate inside the Russian segment of the ISS for days on end to search for its source. So the leak was in the U.S. compartment of the ISS, and they are inside now isolated in the Russian segment of the ISS. The cosmonauts on the ISS cut out thin strips of paper and plastic and plan to attach them on the inside walls of Russia's Vezda service module because they want to try to determine the source of the air leak, which has plagued the space station for over a year now. You can understand how terrible this is. This is very dangerous, of course. Russian cosmonaut Yuri gives it, of course, a danger for the air to be leaking. Uh, we don't know how how suddenly it could perhaps become larger. I don't know. Now, Yuri Gidzenko, the Russian cosmonaut, who contacted two Russian Russians aboard the station fight flight engineers Anatoly Ivashnishin and Ivan Wagner, say these cosmonauts were asked to deploy a pair of GoPro cameras uh, in the suspected leaking chamber of the Zvesta module before closing the hatches. One of the cameras is expected to engage in the real-time monitoring of a pressure gauge to determine how quickly pressure drops in the compartment. The other is expected to watch the movement of the strips of paper in plastic hung around the module with others allowing it to freely flow through. So how many holes are we talking about? Uh, this is the Russian compartment. I thought the U.S. compartment had the hole. Why is the... Uh, what's, what's with the Russian compartment? He says that one of the cameras is expected to engage in the real-time monitoring of the pressure gauge to determine how quickly pressure drops in the compartment. The other is expected to watch the movement of the strips of paper and plastic hung around the module with others allowed to float freely through it. And if all goes well, uh, as planned, uh, I guess this is an experiment in, uh, in action, right? Uh, and the source of the leak is detected. The flow of the air is expected to pull the strips in the direction of the leak, while the free-floating confetti will accumulate near it. So that's their plan. A small air leak was first detected aboard the ISS September 2019. Between August and September 2020, the leak's intensity intensified five times more, from 270 grams a day to 1.4 kilograms of air lost every day. The emergency prompted the crew to close the hatches of ISS modules on two separate occasions because they wanted to check the pressurization with astronauts and cosmonauts isolating themselves for days in the, in the station's Russian segment. So what, how, many, how many holes are we talking about now? This is not good. You have the, the U.S. segment leaking, now you have the Russian segment leaking. What's going on there? It's, um, now... It's presently believed that the leak is located in the Russian-made Zvezda module. After the leak's precision, precise location is found, the crew will work to fix it. Well, this is, this is, I'm really shocked. I'm really shocked. Now, earlier, Vladimir Solovey, Solovian, veteran cosmonaut and flight director of the Russian segment of the ISS, said the leak size could be as small as 0 0.6 to 0 0.8 millimeters in size, making it difficult, if not impossible, to find. And alongside Ivani, Shin, and Wagner, the ISS also have three U uh, NASA astronauts, including Flight Commander Chris Cassidy and Flight Engineers Doug Hurley and Bob Benkin, that went up recently, Ross Cosmos Flight Engineer Sergei Rizikov and Sergei Kudzerkov, as well as NASA astronaut Kathleen Rubens, are expected to join the crew later this month, this October. They're going to join the crew, so there'll be even more astronauts up there um, with, the, uh, 
with various parts of the ISS leaking air. I'm flabbergasted. What can I tell you? Uh, this is on Sputnik News. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.